There's an old saying that we have in Fairfax County, the bus driver is the first person within the school system to see that student in the morning and the last to see them in the afternoon. The bus driver can set the tone for the day. And setting the right tone can make a big difference in a student's day at school. The Fairfax County Public Schools Office of Transportation provides busing to approximately 135,000 students every day. And that includes transporting students with special needs. For the last several years, the Office of Transportation has collaborated with the Department of Special Services to enhance its bus driver training. Training for drivers now includes lessons on how to work with students with special needs. We have such a large number of students with disabilities that we support in Fairfax County. We have over 25,000 students with special needs that are attending our schools and a large majority of them are being transported by bus alongside their same age peers and we want to make sure State that those drivers and attendants feel like they have the strategies that they need in order to ensure a safe ride for all students. Drivers on school buses are, have always been thought of as being out there, removed from the school building. And I think the perspective was that if we have a driver behind the wheel, they automatically not only know how to drive the bus, but they know how to deal with these students. But that's not the case. We still need that additional support from the outside resources to give us that um, very specific information and training that a particular child might need. Bus driver training includes CPR and other first aid instruction, mapping, defensive driving, and behind the wheel lessons. Training has expanded to include specific lessons on how to work with students with special needs and also student behavior in general. We have very comprehensive special needs training. We have a, a room, a special room designated for that actually where we teach um, how to, to secure wheelchairs, how to secure car seats, how to secure students in safety vests. We talk a lot about what kinds of special needs we might be encountering as bus drivers and attendants when we're transporting these students, how we should deal with them, what kinds of things we should look for. There are a number of students whose disability is directly connected to their behavior. A lot of them struggle with communication skills, a lot of them struggle with skills that allow them to problem solve and to get along effectively with their peers. So we recognize that because of the unique challenges that many students uh, are faced with because of their disability, that we also need to be able to equip our drivers and attendants with skills to be able to help those students problem solve, help them to get through their ride in a safe way, in a way that reduces anxiety and stress for those students and for everyone to ensure a safe ride. The special needs student population has grown over the years and the Office of Transportation has modified its bus driver training to reflect that growth. Working with special services gives drivers the tools and resources to ensure that all students have a safe ride to school. It's made a huge difference. Not only has that additional tapping into those resources enabled us to provide safer transportation, but it's allowed us to meet the needs of those individual students much better. Working with special services has been a great help because this is such an important part of training. Uh, we're really glad that we're able to make this training more comprehensive because it's, there is a huge need for it. I'm very proud of our training program and we continue to have it evolve. We improve it every opportunity we get. We want to make sure we have the best people out there to transport our kids.